Ripple XRP coin, has the US blockchain bill now been passed or not? There has been a lot of FUD and rumors surrounding this and so I will break this down and tell you guys the real truth. Chris Larson has also mentioned this, it's to do with interoperability and why we could be the winner as well. The vice president of one of the BlackRock regions has pointed out and listed all of the cryptocurrencies that could be used for long-term utility and we will have a look into that as well as an asset management company that is currently holding XRP coin. And of course the price action for today which is the 10th of november all i ask from you are two things which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well so the first bit of news that i have for you and it's pretty big as well is to do with this blockchain bill now as you can see over here it is currently a blank document but there has been rumors going around saying that the blockchain bill has been approved unfortunately this hasn't been approved at all and is nowhere near to be approved and i'm going to tell you why we actually have the news coming out from yahoo finance saying that u.s house committee unanimously approves legislation supporting blockchain technology and i think this is where the confusion comes in because it says that it's approved what has basically happened here is the fact that the house committee has approved this but there's certain stages that happen and that actually go on in congress right and the next stages of the process is that the proposed bill then needs to go to the house of representatives floor for vote and then once that happens and if it does actually pass it then must also pass in the senate and once they actually get through that hurdle there is a final congressional and obviously presidential approval which is basically the last step and unfortunately we are nowhere near as close as to where we think we are again this news is the fact that the committee has passed the bill but not the house yet also the form is a little bit confusing because it is blank there's no names there's no dates there's not even any sort of signatures so i'm not sure if this is a template or anything but the news has come out saying that the committee has passed it we are still very far from it actually being approved in general General. but again at least we have seen some sort of progress and we are getting the ball moving so let's have a look to see what Chris Larson has said in this video he talks about the internet ledger protocol and he says that you'll need data goods and money to all be globally interoperating and that's coming and then I'll talk about as to why Ripple can benefit this yeah a lot of the backlash on globalization today um, it's not because globalization is bad it's essential uh, it's that it's incomplete uh, because globalization needs kind of three key systems to be working together and it needs interoperability and data you know check that one we've had that since the, the internet ip 25 years now uh, you need interoperability in goods we've had that since the 50s with the shipping container we've talked about shipping we love shipping containers we're um, going to come back to that. Uh, that that was key but you don't have it yet in money and you know you need data goods and money to all be globally inter uh, operating and uh, that's coming, so that's the profound thing. The neat thing about block, when we talk about blockchain, while it's not the digital assets themselves that can ever be the network of networks, because you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, uh, XRP's ledger, they're all just networks, so that can never be the network of networks. But what they did is they created this thing, we believe the, the winner will be ILP, the Interledger Protocol, which we think is equivalent to IP that changed data and to that shipping container that changed goods. So that's a really profound thing that will play out over the next, pick some number, one, two, five, ten years. Uh, that's It's happening right now. And so again, with interoperability being one of the main focuses, and we already know the Bank of International Settlements have highlighted this as well. And Ripple is already a member or one of the members for the plan on the cross-border payments, and they will be working alongside with big players like MasterCard and Swift. But there is an example of Ripple actually doing really well with interoperability. There has been a case before that Ripple has actually managed to be able to send blockchain transactions across seven ledgers and it actually went across multiple different types of blockchains right because it needs to be different types of blockchain and not just either your public or private and they were able to do this and it actually went across public blockchains private blockchains a centralized ledger and even a traditional payment channel and so it wasn't like as if they were going like for like only doing it across a private blockchain or only doing it across a centralized ledger they were able to do it across many and so this just goes to show that ripple has the utility and capability of being able to do it across many different ledgers as opposed to only doing two and i think that's a solution that major banks are looking for now over here i spotted this now this is the vice president of blackrock from a specific region it's not the overall hierarchy vice president of blackrock i believe that they are based in edinburgh if we have a look at their profile and so they said a year ago what the space needs is a decoupling from the meme coins and those with long-term utility use cases that will disrupt many industries in order for this space to grow and mature and the list of cryptocurrencies that he has mentioned include QNT, AVAX, ETH, 
2.0, XDC and XRP. Many promising projects waiting to take the crypto market by storm. Now, obviously, this is his opinion. And some people are taking this with a grain of salt because his account isn't verified. But guys, this is on LinkedIn, right? You don't really need a verified account in order to put your opinion out. Again, it is the same name. And we also have him as the vice president at BlackRock. It would take a long time for me to go through all of his posts that he has made over a year ago. But this has been screenshotted. But it just goes to show that there is some support from someone with credibility, at least for from BlackRock. Now let's have a look at Bitwise and Bitwise are an asset management company. They hold many crypto assets as you can see over here within their portfolio but let's have a look at the distributions of their investments. So we have Bitcoin obviously with a high weight of 67.5%, Ethereum at 22.2% and XRP at 2.8%. Now XRP is obviously very low in holding weight but again if they do increase this to 10% or 15% that would be pretty good for XRP. Don't forget guys these asset management companies are increasing their cryptocurrency holdings and XRP is the third on the list over here. Price action for today for XRP coin. Market again, we've seen some winners. We've got OKT is up by 116%, BTT at 39.7%, but we have had some in the red. XRP coin is currently trading at 66 cents. We are doing pretty good. It's nice to see. Yes, we are down on the day by 1.6%, but it's not like as if we are actually down considering the fact that we saw that run up yesterday and we went to 69 cents which is a huge win for us we were nearly at that 70 cents guys it's really good we are up by 6.7 percent of the one week chart so we are in the green and where i'm currently looking for xrp coin to stabilize is at 65 cents and if you can't do that and we retrace back well we may actually hit that 63 cent level we are currently at a market cap of 35 billion and our 24 hour volume is at 1.25 billion dollars so again we have come down by nearly under a billion dollars in the volume where we were trading at two billion dollars but nevertheless still really good price action for xrp coin the next price target for it should be at 70 cents guys if you want daily xrp coin news subscribe to the channel and like the video as well